I'm going to go through the setup of uh, this controller to control the quark um, in particular setting it up so that we can get the um, use the buttons a little bit uh, okay before doing this actually I'm just going to show you what happens if you open up um, if you, you you need to make sure that things are working and coming through uh, to Windows and so you open up uh, USB game controllers and have a look at the properties of the device that's showing up there um, so I'm using the uh, Frisky uh, little uh, wireless um, USB receiver thingy that plugs into the computer uh, and to actually get that running you do need to set up uh, the output from all your all your buttons and so on that you want to use as going out to channels so I don't know if you can see on this on the display screen here uh, so this is the output channels here, so I've set it up so that as I move the sticks around these change as well. But also buttons and so on are operating output channels as well, so effectively they will be you know, sending data to a server or whatnot. Um, because that's how you're going to get the buttons working on here. Uh, on the input here, I think most of them are coming up as sort of analog inputs. I think one or two, yeah, so this one here, the... Um, the HS switch is coming up as a button. Oh, actually, so is the uh, the one over here. So I have this set up as a spring for DLG launches. Um, so they do come through as buttons. So they do behave slightly different to, for example, these ones up here. Okay, so yeah, so you need to set this up, calibrate it. Oh, I just see it's not actually properly calibrated, but uh, never mind, that's all right. Uh, okay. So when that's done, then you can go into here, uh, and I'm going to set up that. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to go through that uh, setup from scratch. So I'm going to clear the joystick settings, enable joystick, right, and then we go to go through. Um, uh, yeah. So this is so this one here set up for that's the throttle, and when it's in the middle, that's about right. I don't need to press the, the sort of the centering buttons, or whatever. So next one, this which is going. I'm using mode two, so when I roll, it's that one. Oops. Uh, what now? Okay, so this one here is the um, pitch elevator. So what I should be doing is I should like hands off, press when centered, move it to down in this case because it's elevator and then move it up and click there and that kind of calibrates the range um, okay and the final one is your which is over here so that's your that's also it, the numbers are coming out uh, as plus or minus one so that's all final as it is okay so that's the basic controls um, you know actually I'm gonna go back if I fly with that I can fly around. I have to use the keyboard to toggle the buttons. I can toggle the buttons like the one and two using you know, the, the keyboard. Well, I don't like seeing crashes. And you know, for the rates, you can do it with shift, it cycles through the rates. Kind of, no, that's it's not too bad if you've got your keyboard next to you. But let's see about uh, actually connecting them up. And also, like pausing and resetting is also a pain with the keyboard. So if we scroll down, uh, we can start to see some other inputs. So these are all the analog inputs. They're gonna, they're, these are things to, the first batch of things to map onto uh, like analog typical controls. The next is going through all the buttons and the API supports like 32 buttons, which is a bit of a pain uh, because we don't really wanna map 32 buttons. But I'm just, I know from the, remember from the USB game controllers panel, those two corner buttons are appearing as uh, as buttons in in the input, and in fact they they do appear here. So when I do this one, uh, that's coming up here, uh, and I can map that to um, what should I map that to? I can map that to relaunch. Um, now I'm going to map it to kind of pause play button because I think this one over here, yeah, I'm going to map that one to relaunch. So that should give me my relaunch and pause play. And the other ones I want, so I want to have this one here. I want to have my rates. That's the three-way switch. And it's not going to appear in the button section because 
screen wasn't appearing as a button in the U in the USB game controller's input. So I have to go right way down to 32, and then we start here. Then we start getting some other joystick kind of inputs. These are kind of extra inputs. Aha, there we are. So it's this one. So we can map that to the rates button. Now, uh, if there are there are going to be three rate settings for the Quark. There's a kind of low rates, high rates, and one where you have flaps as well. Um, so I have a three-way button. If you've only got a two-way button, okay, you can you can set it to rates. But in that case, you'll only be able to go through the first two of the options. Alternatively, you can actually also set it to the rate cycle. So what happened there is that as you go from sort of off to on, it will then trigger to go to the next uh, rate setting. So you can actually, yeah, even though you've got a, only a simple on-off switch, you can have it going through the different options. But this is a three-way button, so you can see the inputs going from minus one to zero to plus one. And um, um, well, I've got another button. I can probably map that as well. Why not? Uh, just keep flipping it. Does it appear somewhere? No. What about this one? Some of them are not set up. Oh, that, this one does. Um, okay, I can map it to the kind of smoke button. Uh, if I had another, I can't map it to choose the choose the type of smoke. I don't know whether I've got another one set up here. I'm not sure these. Uh, uh, that one. Oh no, that's the rates one. And that one didn't. That one isn't mapped up. Is this one? That might be all I've got. Okay. Uh, okay. So that should be everything. So I should be able to reset with. There we are. So I can reset with this one. Um. And I can pause with that one. That's right. <laughs> I've forgotten for a moment. And now I can fly around. So I'm on high rates. I can flip to low rates. High rates and with the flaps. And yeah, so I can fly around like this. Uh, so yeah, so it's kind of, it's not super intuitive. <laughs> Sorry about that. Also, it depends on, you know, it depends on your exact settings, um, what you've got to play with. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to fly around for a bit now. Um, you can also, let's see if I can remember my, oh no, I went to... That's the one. Bring back. Right. So when it's up close, you can actually you can also see what's going on as well. So I'm going to say set it to the high rates at the moment. And here, you can see that the elevator's actually coupled to the flaps. So we've got snap flaps. Uh, and if you want to change that, that's in under the controller setting, which sort of um, controls mixes and things like that. Um, so um, so it's got a basic configuration in here and then we go through each of the rates blocks here so in the rates blocks you can manually set the trims here you can also set mixes so at the moment it's doing elevated flaps in here um, yeah so if you're getting pitching when you're using the elevator you can like trim that out and so on oh sorry if you're getting pitching when using the flaps you can trim it out here as well um, yeah don't wouldn't have any particular reason to change this stuff at the moment. I mean, you can, you know, if you don't want your snap flaps, you can set that to pretty much zero. And, um, oh, that, okay, yeah, I actually changed it in the low rates. So in the low rates, I have no snap flaps. In the high rates, I've got a bit of uh, snap flap. Or well, I could go and increase that. So high rates, snap flaps, you know. Double it. There we go. Let's just try flying with that. And what was last? That's right. So, okay, yeah, so we uh, just stalled. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure uh, whether it'd be obvious whether or not that makes a big difference. Probably in the high rates, it's quite easy to, uh, to, to uh, either do a snap. <laughs> Or, uh, or just uh, install the wing. All 
Okay, so hopefully it helps a little bit. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so just send me a message if it's if there's still a problem. It's as I say, it can vary quite a lot depending on what controller you've got and so on, as to how, how to set things up correctly. Okay.